The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There was a Laman in Slabotki Yeshiva in Eretz Yisrael. And he was married for many years and he had no children. There were two particularly colorful fellows who weren't necessarily playing with a full deck that used to come around the yeshiva and just generally, generally they were around the city of Bnei Brak and they would collect money. And one of them was kind of an illusion that he was a Rebbe, he was a Hasidic Rebbe, he was not, he was a pauper, he was a collector. But he tried to dress like a Rebbe, he had people address him like a Rebbe to the humor of many of the people that were around him who played his game. But one day he calls over this young man in Slabatka and he says to him, you know, Rosh Hashanah is coming and my, or my house, the Rebbe's house, really needs to be appropriate in honor of Rosh Hashanah. It's a big mess. Would you be able to come over after Seder and help clean up my home? It's a schus. You could be Mishanish. You could serve me. You could serve me. The Heli Gareb. And the young man could have walked away. And, but he said, you know what? You're right. Wait till Seder is over and I'll come over. And he comes over to the guy's house. He walks in there. It's a chorban. It's a destruction. There's mounds and mounds of garbage and things stuck to the floor. It's gefelech. And he tries clean. He does a little bit, but he doesn't even make a dent. He says to the fellow, listen, I, I tried, I, I can't do this, but here's what I'm going to do for you. Right after Rosh Hashanah, I'm going to get it for you in the light. We're going to come over here one day, and we're going to clean your house really well. And a few days later, he goes there, and he brings a, a team of, of, of in the light, of Avrechem, of Koyal guys, and they start cleaning, and they bring cleaning equipment, and it takes them hours and hours. And eventually they uncover all kinds of crazy things. He had money that he had stored under piles of rubble. It was a crazy situation, and it smelled, and it was uncomfortable. But they did it, and the Rebbe, without lifting a finger, this Nebuch Rebbe sat on the side, and he looked at them, and he smiled, and he said, Ah, what a schus you have to serve me, the Heliger Rebbe. And they, they humored him, but they did it. Ladies and gentlemen, nine months to the day of that cleanup, this young man who didn't have children for so many years cradled his own child in his arm for the very first time. You know what happened? He invested in his nitzchias, in his continuity, in his eternity. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, well, I'm going to help you with that. And he gave him a beautiful child. Ish, ashayitin lakayin, when you help another person, la yia, the greatest beneficiary is yourself. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.